Oh! Excuse me. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm just a little jumpy tonight. It's Cole Kerwin, isn't it? It's good to finally meet you in person. Have a seat. I want to thank you for meeting me at such a late hour, Mr. Smith. I've had that state theater on the market since I was about your age. And the amount that you offered for it, I mean, not that it really matters, but it's worth every penny of it. I'm sure. I got a few papers for you here to sign. I'll find a pen here. Ah. <laughs> now, we sign here. So you uh, come a long way from um... Madison. Madison. A sign here, and and here. I just read about the strangest thing that happened in Madison. Did you hear that? You shouldn't she... believe everything you read in the paper, Mr. Smith. What are your plans for the uh, old theater? An elegant dining experience followed by an enlightening picture show. You mean a dinner theater? Oh no, Mr. Smith. You miss my purpose. It's not just a dinner theater. It's a life-altering occurrence. Each week, I, your humble host, will introduce the audience to a strange and fantastic story in which ordinary people are plucked out of their pedestrian lives and placed into extraordinary circumstances. What these people's actions are when faced with these bizarre situations, along with the often ironic twist endings, will make for enthralling entertainment. And trust me when I tell you, their lives will be changed forever. Whose lives? Well, that's all, that's all very interesting. Uh, You know, I know my way around the projection booth. I I used to do that in my younger days. If you need any help, you know, I can... Uh... That's very kind of you, Mr. Smith, but I am the projectionist. Well, I was just being a little nostalgic. Well, Mr. Kerwin, you're now the proud owner of the State Theater. Is that mine? Uh, oh, yeah, yes. Um, uh, it, it, it came with the trunks. Yeah. Thank you again very much, Mr. Smith. You've been extraordinarily helpful. And as a token of my gratitude, Oh, wait! Uh, how about your trunks? Someone will be around tomorrow to pick them up. What's in them, anyway? Books.